Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new Pioneer DJ VM80s. So before we jump into things, I'd first like to thank Pioneer DJ for sending me these awesome studio monitors because as you guys know, I do quite a few comparisons and unboxing and reviews of studio monitors, but you don't always get the chance of unboxing a brand new pair of studio monitors that just got released into the market. So in this case, I'm going to be unboxing these Pioneer DJ VM80s. Last week, I did an unboxing and review of the Pioneer DJ VM50s, which is the smaller pair of studio monitors to the VM80s, which are also fantastic and also a video you should check out which I'll leave linked down in the description below. But that's enough of me talking. Let's jump into this video and see what these studio monitors are all about. Okay, so first off, the unboxing. Okay, hold on. So when you unbox these studio monitors, the first thing that you get is obviously the studio monitors themselves. You get the power cable to power them up and then you also get some paperwork that we never really look at but it does include some isolation pads that you can put underneath your studio monitor to help with any unwanted vibrations when listening to music and all those cool things. But I want to get back to the look and design of these studio monitors. As I mentioned in my last unboxing of the smaller version Pioneer DJ VM50s, I think these studio monitors look amazing in terms of look and design. I love the all black finish. I love the aluminium front panel, which is just exceptional quality. I love the Kevlar cone. Everything about the design of these studio monitors has this futuristic 2021 touch to it. That's not too much, but also not too little. And I'm personally just a big fan of a matte black, full black studio monitor with this little LED Tron kind of light on the side here. It just looks really, really cool. This studio monitor is obviously a lot bigger than the VM50s I reviewed last week, whereas those studio monitors had a five inch cone. This studio monitor has an eight inch cone. Like I said earlier, it has a Kevlar cone, which is nice to have that evenly distributed sound off the cone and it also has a one inch tweeter like the VM50 so with the studio monitor you're getting a much bigger cone which means you're getting a lot more low end which is nice because with those other studio monitors you'd probably like to add an additional sub or something like that to get that extra low end to get a nice balanced overall mix but with these you're not going to need a subwoofer at all because this eight inch cone is nice and big and the low end that you're going to get with these are perfect for any home studio setup. Moving on to the back panel of the studio monitor pretty much the exact same design as the VM50s, but we are getting a bigger base reflex port here, which is again that Vortex base reflex port, which claims to give a little bit more of a tighter and better bass response sounding bass than that of just a standard base reflex port. So this whole design and this unique feature is really a cool thing that I think Pioneer DJ has done to stand out from the rest, which I definitely have to give them high marks for. And then we have our volume knob here, XLR and TRS input. We have an RCA connection. And then we have some room adjustment here that you can use on the high end loads, which is just nice to set them up more specifically and better for your specific home studio environment and your specific room. So like I said, pretty much exactly the same back panel as the VM50s with just a bigger base reflex port here. That's definitely gonna mean even more low end with that bigger front cone. So now that we've gone through these studio monitors in terms of look and design and features and had a look at the front panel and back panel, it's time to move on to the sound quality test. And as you guys know, I do not like to do a sound quality test of the product that I'm looking at on their own. I always compare them to another pair of studio monitors. And in this case, I'm gonna be comparing the VM80s to the VM50s. Yes, it's not a fair comparison because these studio monitors have an eight inch cone, which means you are gonna have a lot more low end with these compared to the VM50s. But I will do a Yamaha HS8 versus Pioneer DJ VM80 studio monitor comparison in future just so that you can really compare the difference with an 8 inch studio monitor to another 8 inch studio monitor but for this video I've decided just to focus on Pioneer DJ's new studio monitors and compare the smaller VM50s to the VM80s so that you can decide whether or not you should be going for the smaller option or for the bigger option depending on your home studio setup. <laughs> I 
Now, for my final take on these Pioneer DJ VM80s, I have to say that I am a big fan. I really like the way these studio monitors sound, even though I did compare them to a smaller studio monitor, which isn't really fair. But overall, they sound really, really good. I've been using my Yamaha HS8 in the back there for quite a while now, and I had to listen to these as well, and the quality is exceptional. You really, really can't tell that much of a difference at all, and you're definitely getting very good sound quality with these studio monitors. And for the price at around $290, they tick all the boxes that you're looking for in an 18 inch studio monitor. Firstly, they are not too expensive for the price and the size, and also not too cheap. And you're also getting a lot for the money that you're paying. Firstly, like I said, the sound quality is really, really good. There's some really nice additional features that other studio monitors don't have, like the Yamaha HS8. Those studio monitors don't have a Kevlar cone. Those studio monitors don't have this unique bass reflex port in the front here. Those studio monitors don't have this aluminum front panel in the front so with these studio monitors you're definitely getting a little bit more of a build quality upgrade you're getting a little bit more in terms of your cone it's a little bit more in terms of these extra features and at a cheaper price than the Yamaha HS8 yes those studio monitors have been around for a little bit longer but for Pioneer to bring out quality studio monitors that are brand new to the market trying to compete with those they are ticking a lot of boxes that those haven't ticked yet so Overall, I have to say that I'm a big fan of these studio monitors. I'm definitely gonna be using them in future and testing them out. And like I said, I will be doing a comparison between these Pioneer DJ VM80s and the Yamaha HS8 in future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also a reminder before I end this video that if you are interested in these studio monitors or the Pioneer DJ VM50s, I will leave some links down in the description below as well. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below and I will see you for another video next time. Yeah, me say don't take the girl, my life be like yo. Never look at my ear, they bark out, they ain't gonna hear for you. The fishing in an under, so I can stow up by my side, oh, why? Set the tour up for the four, my other for the baby. But I'm here, yard is yard is. Don't be your bother, and it rocks. Men do effect of only. But they are legged on me, dear. You will hard it, hard it, hard it. Information and safety. You can only, baby. Oh, you come here, I'll drink and drum, man.